Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cruz, piloting Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. This is a turbo deck that seeks to end the game by using Rocco Cabaretti Caterer as a toolbox to find various combos. Cruz's opening hand contains a Mox Opal, Grand Abolisher, Vampiric Tutor, Lotus Petal, Eladomri's Call, Tropical Island, and a Wooded Foothills. Next, we have Zack, piloting Selvala, Heart of the Wild. This is a mono green storm deck that seeks to assemble an infinite mana line, then win via a large overrun effect. Zack's opening hand contains Atlanta War Elves, Priest of Titania, Snow Covered Forest, Scale Up, Staff of Domination, and his Lunar Mulligans are Regal Force and Wild Growth. After that, we have John, piloting Lord Windgrace. This is a land deck that seeks to grind out advantage and then close out the game with Dual Caster Mage and Twin Flame. John's opening hand contains an Exploration, Beseju Who Endures, Birds of Paradise, Elvish Spirit Guide, Llanowar Elves, Tinderwall, and a Sulphurous Springs. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting Anya Falconrath. This deck uses all the madness cards it can find to filter through the deck and find the parts to unleash the World Gorger Dragon combo. Ryan's opening hand contains a Kozilek Butcher of Truth, Violent Eruption, Blood Crypt, Shadow of the Grave, Chrome Mox, Simeon Spirit Guide, and a Feed the Swarm. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below about your favorite part of the game. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and check us out on TikTok. Without further ado, let's kick off this macabre massacre of magical minions. Zack hit the highest note at karaoke and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a snow-covered forest. He casts a Llanowar Elves. He passes. John draws and plays a Beseju who endures. He exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a green. He casts a Birds of Paradise. He casts a Llanowar Elves. All through, John ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Blood Crypt into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Feed the Swarm. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts his commander, Anya Falconrath. With his engine of his deck online, Ryan ships the turn to Cruz. Cruz draws and casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Mox Opal. He plays a Wooded Foothills. Cruz passes to Zack. Zack draws and casts Priest of Titania. He ships the turn to John. John draws and casts Tinderwall. In response, Cruz cracks his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. Then Tinderwall resolves. John plays the Sulphurous Springs. He sacrifices Tinderwall, adding two red. He casts its commander, Lord Windgrace. He activates Windgrace's first ability, discarding a Lotus Field and drawing two cards. John passes. At the end of John's turn, Ryan activates Anya, discarding Chaos Warp and drawing a card. Ryan draws and activates Anya, discarding Violent Eruption. Anya triggers, untaps, then Ryan draws. He activates Anya again, discarding Blood Hall Priest. Anya triggers, untaps, and Ryan draws again. He activates Anya, discarding Call to the Netherworld. Anya triggers and, in response, Ryan cast Call to the Netherworld for its madness cost, returning Blood Hall Priest from his graveyard to his hand. Then Anya untaps and Ryan draws. He activates Anya, discarding Biting Rain. Anya triggers, untaps, and then Ryan draws. He activates Anya, discarding Blood Hall Priest, Strength of Lunacy, Gorgon Recluse, Archfiend of Spite, and a Senseless Rage, untapping Anya each time and drawing. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Cabal Pit. He casts Shadow of the Grave. It resolves and Ryan returns each card he discarded this turn to his hand, letting him continue this joyful sequence. Ryan activates Anya, discarding Violent Eruption, Biting Rain, Blood Hall Priest, Strength of Lunacy, Gorgon Recluse, Archfiend of Spite, 
Senseless Rage, and Hellmongrel, untapping Anya and drawing each time. He activates Anya, discarding Call to the Netherworld. Anya triggers, and Ryan casts Call to the Netherworld for its madness cost, returning Archfiend of Spite to his hand. Then Anya untaps, and Ryan draws. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He activates Anya, discarding Archfiend of Spite and Blood Mad Vampire, untapping Anya and drawing each time. He plays a Luxury Suite as his land for turn. He activates Anya, discarding World Gorger Dragon and drawing a card. He casts Necromancy, targeting World Gorger Dragon. It resolves and World Gorger Dragon enters. World Gorger triggers and in response, Ryan cracks his Lotus Petal for red and taps his Mox Diamond for a black. Then World Gorger's ability resolves and Ryan exiles all of his other permanents. Necromancy triggers and Ryan sacrifices World Gorger. World Gorger triggers and Ryan returns all of his exiled permanents to the battlefield, including Necromancy attached to World Gorger. Ryan presents a loop of tapping his lands for mana, then exiling them and returning them untapped through the World Gorger loop. In this loop, Ryan activates Anya over and over, rummaging through his deck. Whenever he finds Alms of the Vein, he discards it through Anya and casts it for its madness cost, with each opponent losing three and Ryan gaining three. He continues rummaging until he discards Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, shuffling his graveyard back into his library. He does this over and over, until the table is dead, and Ryan wins the game. Wow, a turn two win by Ryan. The gang decided to shuffle up again. In this game, John brings back Lord Windgrace. His opening hand contains an Emergent Zone, Jeweled Lotus, Simeon Spirit Guide, and his four London Mulligans are Demonic Tutor, Cabal Ritual, Meltdown, and Goblin Bombardment. Ryan brings back Anya Falconrath. His opening hand contains a Shadow of the Grave, Cabal Pit, Mountain, World Gorger Dragon, Dockside Extortionist, and his London Mulligans are Feed the Swarm and Kitchen Imp. Cruz brings back Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, and his opening hand contains a Tropical Island, Misty Rainforest, Bayou, Arcane Signet, Imperial Seal, Jeweled Lotus, and his London Mulligan is a Force of Will. Zack decides to switch decks and breaks out Niv Mizza Perun. This is a control deck that seeks to slap a curiosity effect on its commander and machine gun the table. Zack's opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Ursa Saga, Mox Diamond, Island, Mystical Tutor, Trinket Mage, and a Phantasmal Image. And John gets to start us off. John draws a card for turn and plays an Emergent Zone. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He passes. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He also passes. Cruz draws and casts Jeweled Lotus. He cracks his Lotus to help cast his commander, Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. He plays a Bayou for turn. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Finished up, Cruz ships the turn to Zack. Zack draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding an island. He plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. Zack ends his turn. John draws, takes no actions, and passes. Ryan draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Ryan creates four treasures. He sacrifices three treasures to cast his commander, Anya Falconrath. Finished up, Ryan ships the turn to Cruz. Cruz draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts an Arcane Signet, then passes to Zack. Zack draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He plays a Polluted Delta for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside, and Zack creates three treasures. All through, Zack ends his turn. John draws, mutters under his breath, takes no actions, and passes. Ryan draws, plays a Cabal Pit, and ends his turn. Cruz draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts his own Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Cruz creates six treasures. He casts a Grim Hireling. He moves to combat and attacks John with Sisse. Before damage, Zack casts Rapid Hybridization, targeting Grim Hireling. It resolves, Hireling is destroyed, and Cruz creates a 3-3 Frog Lizard. Then John takes the hit, and Cruz ends his turn. At the end of Cruz's turn, Zack casts Mystical Tutor, fetching up a Force of Will onto the top of his library. During Zack's upkeep, Ryan activates Anya, discarding Psychotic Episode. Anya triggers, and in response, Ryan casts Psychotic Episode for its madness cost, targeting Zack. Episode resolves, Zack reveals a hand, and the top of his library, which is his Force of Will. Then Ryan puts Zack's Force of Will onto the bottom of his library. Then Anya untaps, and Ryan draws. Zack draws for turn, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga triggers. Zack floats a colorless, then sacrifices Urza Saga, fetching up a Jeweled Lotus onto the battlefield. He plays Ottawara, Soaring City, as his land for turn. He cracks his Lotus to help cast his commander, niv at Perun. All through, Zack ends his turn. John draws, mutters a bit louder this time, takes no actions, and passes. Ryan draws, also takes no actions, and ends his turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Cruz cracks his Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, and adds three white. He uses his floating mana and sacrifices treasures to activate Sisse, fetching up Ragavan Nimble Pilfer onto the battlefield. The turn moves to Cruz. Cruz draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks John with Ragavan. John takes it, Ragavan triggers, John exiles Field of the Dead from the top of his library, and Cruz creates a treasure. All through, Cruz passes to Zack. 
Zack draws a Niv-Mizzet triggers targeting and killing Ragavan. He plays a training center for turn. He casts a Trinket Mage. It enters and Zack fetches up a Graft Digger's Cage into his hand. He casts Graft Digger's Cage. He moves the combat and attacks Ryan with Niv-Mizzet. Before damage, Ryan activates Anya, discarding Murderous Compulsion. Anya triggers and in response, Ryan taps his Cabal Pit to help cast Murderous Compulsion for its madness cost, targeting Niv. Niv-Mizzet triggers, Zack draws and deals one damage to Anya. In response, Zack casts an Offer You Can't Refuse. Niv misses triggers, Zack draws and deals another damage to Anya. Offer resolves, Murderous Compulsion is countered, and Ryan creates two treasures. Then Anya untaps, and Ryan draws. Still before damage, Ryan activates Anya again, this time discarding Dark Withering. Anya triggers, and in response, Ryan casts Dark Withering for its madness cost, targeting Niv again. Zack, wondering how in the world Ryan always has it, responds by casting Mog Salvage for its alternate cost, targeting Cruz's Arcane Signet. Niv misses triggers, Zack draws, and deals one more damage to Anya, killing it. Then Mog Salvage resolves and Signet is destroyed. Then Dark Withering resolves, killing Niv Mizzet. Then Anya's ability resolves and Ryan draws. After some bloody interaction, Zack ends his turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Ryan casts Shadow of the Grave, returning Murderous Compulsion and Dark Withering to his hand. John draws and exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Rite of Flame, adding two red. He casts Crucible of Worlds. After finally getting to play Magic this game, John ends his turn. Ryan draws and casts Dark Ritual, adding three black. He recasts his commander, Anya Falconrath. He activates Anya, discarding Curse of Fool's Wisdom. Anya triggers, untaps, and Ryan draws. He activates Anya again, discarding Violent Eruption, Murderous Compulsion, and Dark Withering, untapping Anya and drawing each time. Ryan plays a Blood Crypt into play untapped, paying two life. Unable to find what he needed through his rummaging, Ryan ships the turn to Cruz. Cruz draws and casts Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. He casts Smuggler's Share. Cruz moves to combat and attacks Zack with his Frog Lizard and a 4-4 Sisse. Zack takes it all and Cruz passes the turn. Zack draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He takes no other actions and ends his turn. John draws, sighs, takes no actions, and passes. Ryan draws and plays a Snow-Covered Mountain. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Wishclaw Talisman. He activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Wishclaw to John. He casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold, adding 5 black. He casts Cloudstone Curio. He casts Blazing Root Walla. It enters, Curio triggers, and Ryan returns Dockside Extortionist to his hand. He recasts Dockside, creating 7 treasures. Curio triggers, and Ryan returns Blazing Root Walla to hand. Ryan presents a loop of casting Root Walla, returning Dockside to his hand, and then casting Dockside, returning Root Walla to his hand to create infinite mana. He then casts Blazing Root Walla, now returning Anya to his hand. He casts Anya, returning Root Walla to his hand, then activates Anya, discarding and drawing a card. Ryan presents another loop of casting Blazing Root Walla, returning Anya to his hand, then casting Anya, returning Root Walla to his hand, then activating Anya, rummaging through his deck until he finds Fiery Temper. He casts Fiery Temper, then rummages through his deck again until he finds Kozilek Butcher of Truth. He discards it through Anya, shuffling his graveyard back into his library. He repeats this process over and over until his opponents are dead and Ryan wins the game. The table reflected on the fact that John basically didn't get to play Magic the whole game, so they decided to shuffle up for one more. Ryan brings back Anya Falconrath, and his opening hand can take the Scalding Tarn, Dockside Extortionist, Muck Drub, Kitchen Imp, Gemstone Caverns, Blood Crypt, and a Dance of the Dead. Cruz brings back Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, and his opening hand can take the Fierce Guardianship, Rocco Cabaretti Caterer, Magda Brazen Outlaw, Volcanic Island, Gemstone Caverns, Simeon Spirit Guide, and his London Mulligan is an abrupt decay. Zack brings back Niv Mizzet Perun, and his opening hand contains a Mountain, Misty Rainforest, Trinket Mage, Rapid Hybridization, Mental Misstep, Mindbreak Trap, and his London Mulligan is a Mox Opal. John brings back Lord Windgrace, hoping that this game lets him actually do things. His opening hand contains a Field of the Dead, Misty Rainforest, Dualcaster Mage, Calling the Weak, Scalding Darn, Arid Mesa, and a Mana Crypt. And Ryan gets to start us off. But Cruz has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Simeon Spirit Guide. Ryan draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He passes. Cruz draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Magda, Brazen Outlaw. He ends his turn. Zack draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He ships the turn to John. John draws and plays a Misty Rainforest of his own. He casts a Mana Crypt. He passes. At the end of John's turn, Ryan cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. Ryan draws and plays a Gemstone Caverns, which for some reason feels a lot less valuable than Cruz's. Ryan ends his turn. Cruz draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks John with Magda. Magda triggers and Cruz creates a treasure. John takes it, and in his second main phase, Cruz casts his commander, Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. He passes. Zack draws, plays an island, and ends his turn. At the end of Zack's turn, John cracks his Misty Rainforest, paying a life. In response, Zack cracks his own Misty Rainforest, paying a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Then John fetches up an Overgrown Tomb onto the battlefield tapped. The turn moves to John. During his upkeep, John loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He passes. Ryan draws, does nothing, and moves to his end step. He discards Kitchen Imp to hand size, and the Imp's Madness ability triggers. Ryan casts Kitchen Imp for its Madness cost. He ends his turn. 
Cruz draws and again moves straight to combat. He attacks John with Magda and Zack with Sisse. Magda triggers and Cruz creates a treasure. They both take it and Cruz ships the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays an island. He casts a trinket mage. In response, John cracks his scalding tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a blood crypt onto the battlefield tapped. Then Trinket Mage enters, and Zack fetches up a Jeweled Lotus into his hand. He casts Jeweled Lotus. In response, Cruz casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Lotus. Zack grumbles, then passes the turn. During his upkeep, John wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Stomping Ground into play untapped, paying two life. He casts his commander, Lord Windgrace. He activates Windgrace's first ability, discarding Field of the Dead and drawing two cards. John ends his turn. Ryan draws, takes no actions, and moves to his end step. He discards Strength of Lunacy to hand size, and Strength of Lunacy's Madness ability triggers. Ryan casts Strength of Lunacy for its Madness cost, targeting Kitchen Imp. Having officially dubbed his only creature a Raving Lunatic, Ryan passes. Cruz draws and moves to combat. He attacks Lord Windgrace with both Magda and Sisse. Magda triggers, and Cruz creates a treasure. Windgrace takes five, and Cruz ends his turn. Zack draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He ships the turn to John. During his upkeep, John loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. John draws and casts a Soul Ring. He plays a Command Tower for turn. He casts Imperial Seal. In response, Cruz pays 2 life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Imperial Seal. In response, John casts Worldly Tutor. It resolves and he fetches up a Gitrog monster onto the top of his library. Then Misstep counters Imperial Seal. Next, John activates Windgrace's first ability, discarding Aired Mesa and drawing 2 cards. He casts the Gitrog monster. In response, Zack casts Mindbreak Trap for its alternate cost, exiling the frog. Plans thwarted, a very sad John ends his turn. Ryan draws and casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Ryan creates four treasures. He casts his commander, Anya Falconrath. He activates Anya, discarding Archfiend of Spite. Anya triggers, untaps, and Ryan draws. He activates Anya again, discarding Curse of Fool's Wisdom, From Under the Floorboards, Blood Hall Priest, Alms of the Vein, Weirded Vampire, Asylum Visitor, and a Muck Drub, untapping Anya and drawing each time. Finally, having found what he was looking for, Ryan plays a Polluted Delta and then passes the turn. Cruz draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks Lord Windgrace with Magda and Sisse. Magda triggers and Cruz creates a treasure. John declares no blocks and Windgrace dies. Cruz passes. At the end of Cruz's turn, Zack cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield tapped. Zack draws and plays a Mountain. With no further actions, he ships the turn. During his upkeep, John wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Dragon's Rage Channeler. He casts Imperial Recruiter. Recruiter enters and John fetches up a Wither Bloom Apprentice into his hand. John passes. At the end of John's turn, Ryan cracks his Polluted Delta, pays a life, and fetches up a Blood Crypt onto the battlefield tapped. He then activates Anya, discarding City of Brass and drawing a card. The turn moves to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Wish Claw Talisman. He passes. Cruz draws and casts Dockside Extortionist. Dockside enters and, in response to the trigger, Ryan sacrifices a treasure and adds a red. Then Cruz creates four treasures. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Magda. Magda triggers and Cruz creates another treasure. Zack blocks Magda with Trinket Mage and both creatures die. In his second main phase, Cruz sacrifices seven treasures to cast Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, where X equals four. In response, Zack casts Mana Drain, countering Rocco. Cruz sighs and ships the turn to Zack. Zack draws and in his first main phase, he had seven colorless through Mana Drain. Unfortunately, he can't find a good use for it, takes no actions, and ends his turn. During his upkeep, John wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Witherbloom Apprentice. He casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Imperial Recruiter as an additional cost. Witherbloom and Dragon's Rage Channeler both trigger. John surveils one and leaves it on top. He then gains one life and each of his opponents lose one life through Witherbloom. Then Culling the Weak resolves and John adds four black. He casts Abundant Growth, targeting Stomping Grounds. Channeler triggers, John surveils, leaving it on top again. Abundant Growth enters and John draws a card. He casts Peer into the Abyss. Witherbloom and Darcy both trigger. John surveils, leaves it on top, then his opponents each lose one life and he gains a life. In response to the peer, Zack casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Peer into the Abyss. In response, Ryan casts Tybalt's Trickery, targeting Peer into the Abyss. Trickery counters Peer, John mills too, and then exiles until he reveals a Utopia Sprawl, casting it, naming red as it enters. Then Narset's Reversal fizzles, much to Zack's dismay. After lamenting that he paid 7 mana for a Utopia Sprawl, John moves to combat. He attacks Cruz with a Delirious Darcy. Cruz takes 3 and John ends his turn. At the end of John's turn, Ryan activates Anya, discarding Vernon Catacombs and drawing a card. Ryan draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a snow-covered mountain onto the battlefield. He activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Wishclaw to Cruz. Ryan casts Imperial Seal. In response, Zack hard casts Mental Misstep, countering Seal. Ryan activates Anya, discarding World Gorger Dragon, and drawing a card. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Dance of the Dead, targeting World Gorger in his graveyard. Dance resolves, and World Gorger enters. World Gorger triggers, and in response, Zack casts Rapid Hybridization, targeting World Gorger. All eyes stare at Ryan, who grins, but doesn't have a response. 
Hybridization resolves, destroying World Gorger. World Gorger's second ability triggers and Ryan floats mana. Then the second ability resolves, but there is nothing to return. Then the first ability resolves, exiling all of Ryan's permanents. Living by the dragon and dying by the dragon, Ryan sighs and uses his floating mana to cast Cloudstone Curio. Now a clean slate, Ryan ends his turn. Cruz draws and moves to combat. He attacks John with Sisse and Zack with Dockside. They both take it, and in his second main phase, Cruz activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand, and then generously giving Wishclaw back to the now destitute Ryan. Cruz plays a Burning Catacombs for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. Cruz passes. Zack draws and plays an Ottawa at Soaring City as his land for turn. He casts his commander, niv Mizzet Perun. He ships the turn to John. During his upkeep, John loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and recasts his commander, Lord Windgrace. Dragon's Rage Channeler triggers, John surveils one, putting it into the graveyard. He activates Windgrace's first ability, discarding and drawing. He plays a Dryad Arbor as his land for turn. He casts Dark Confidant. He moves to combat and attacks Cruz with Darcy and Witherbloom. Cruz takes it, and John ends his turn. Ryan draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Cruz casts Brain Freeze, targeting himself. niv Mizzet triggers, Zack draws, and niv Mizzet deals 1 damage to Dark Confidant, killing it. Then Brain Freeze resolves and Cruz mills 3. The turn moves to Cruz. Cruz draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding Flooded Strand. He casts an Ad Nauseam. niv Mizzet triggers, Zack draws, and niv Mizzet deals 1 damage to Cruz. Then Ad Nauseam resolves. Cruz reveals a Tundra, Phyrexian Metamorph, Displacer Kitten, Pact of Negation, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, Scrubland, Smothering Tithe, Carpet of Flowers, Professional Facebreaker, Eladomri's Call, Badlands, Plateau, Lotus Petal, Windswept Teeth, Mana Confluence, Tainted Pact, and a demonic consultation, deciding to stop there. He casts Lotus Petal. He casts Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds four blue through his carpet. He casts Phyrexian Metamorph. It enters as a copy of Dockside and Cruz creates six treasures. He casts Displacer Kitten. He casts Demonic Consultation. Displacer Kitten and Niv Mizzet trigger. Zack draws, deals one damage to Cruz, then Displacer Kitten's trigger resolves, targeting Dockside. Dockside flickers and Cruz creates six more treasures. Consultation resolves and Cruz names Thassa's Oracle. He exiles the top six cards and then exiles until he finds Oracle, which is the third card from the bottom. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters and Cruz wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great set of games tonight. Congrats to Ryan and Cruz on their wins. In game one, Ryan had a blazing fast turn two win, but it was slowed down by the fact that Ryan had to dig so deep into his library. In game two, Ryan was shut down from his World Gorger combo from Graft Digger's Cage. He skillfully navigated the lines he had to land the Curio Loop for the win. In game three, Cruz managed to seize the opportunity when the others had interacted and landed an ad nauseum to end the game in one swoop. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Anya Falconrath. This card was instrumental to Ryan's victories in the first two games. He even used it to interact at key times when Niv Mizzet hit the battlefield. This commander is a ton of fun for those who like to use atypical mechanics and niche cards at the CDH table. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.